Hello. Um, I don't know, I have a whole lot of video on anything. Um, having issues with things recording or not recording. <sighs> but anyway, it's not to say that I haven't been doing anything. Um, I'm trying anyways. I think I'm failing, but you know, that's how I learn. But anyways, I've got a few things going right here. Um, we've been working on the car. It's almost driving season here in a month or two, and I've had a whole list of things I want to do to it for this winter. Anyways, um, here's a few things I've been doing. As soon as I can turn this camera around, I don't want to turn around. Why ain't it turning around? Not sure why that don't work for me. But anyways, um, I tried turning this uh, mushroom thing. This is a, well I thought it was kind of dry. It was green. It's a mulberry tree that was taken down by a storm. But I had a catch up in there. And this stuff's pretty tough if you can see it in there. It didn't come off, it just twisted. So, but anyways, I was just trying it out. Thought it was kind of cool to do a mushroom. That was actually the crotch. You can see there's one, two, three. Well, that looks like two, maybe four pieces coming out of it. And then I was turning a, a cherry bowl because I wanted to practice for something else. Um, I haven't gone any further than this because I don't quite like the finishing. Um, I bought some of this expensive stuff. Read the instructions, do like it says, and it gets all gooey and lumps up and rips the rag out of your hand and doesn't work like it claims you should be doing it on the instructions. So I'm not sure. So I stopped at that one, marked it, and then all that. And then I was playing with resin, and I tried this resin bowl with a river-type thing through it. Um, it was actually turning out pretty good. I was happy with it until I got to some cracks that were down inside the wood and then it warped it. And I mixed a little of the pearl powder into the CA glue and then forced it in here to try and unwarp it. And I'm gonna leave it and let it sit. Hopefully that'll uh, keep it from doing that. And then I filled the backside up, the cracks that from me pushing it together opened up on the back side so I'm just gonna leave that and let it dry so and then uh, oh, that's not what I wanted I don't know. keeps taking pictures and but anyways let me go out into the well we we'll just walk out into the other room Go out. Anyways, we've been working on the car. Um, I had a big list to do. Brakes were one of them. It's not in focus. I need to turn that crap off. Hey, that's better. So, anyways, um, all new rollers, pins, um, pads. They all had to be taken off, riveted back on. Um, my oil pan is back on. I got some flack from my copper oil pan with a shiny clear coat on it. But I will get even. We're going to turn him a hot pink shifter knob for his Model A. <laughs> Anyways, uh, in amongst this, I have, I still have to take that back off. We were just setting, you have to center these. It's not like anything modern. Um, there's no grease in those bearings. And there, there's the new shoes we had to mount to it, and the uh, rollers and pins. Um, they're pretty simple, and yet it's a whole learning curve. But anyways, we're still not done yet. Uh, these are the brake rods. This is not a hydraulic system. So all of these, I have to clean these all up still so that we can turn these by hand. And we have to do all four corners one at a time so they all move at the same time. There's no proportioning valve or anything on it. It's all rods. And we don't need one tire locking up over the other. But other than that, I pretty much 
gotten everything done except for that um i ran out of grease that's why we didn't grease them i got about i don't know if you can see that in there that much grease into one bearing so i had to go buy more grease in the middle of it but um other than putting some oil in it checking the antifreeze i gotta i gotta put the battery back in it i uh we put an alternator in it instead of a generator that was in it but the new battery box because the generator just i know i can adjust it down but uh <clears throat> it was overcharging the battery and just pumping it out everywhere the grease throw out bearing you have to service these things about every 500 miles it's <clears throat> really kind of a pain in the butt to take the floor out get at the battery and service everything um new speedometer cable the old one worked it just wasn't Let's see if we can get it down here that right there it was not it would go in like one thread and then pop off so i just bought a new one and uh, i don't have to worry about it coming off while i'm going down the road but anyways uh what else do we do here um here's our six volt positive ground alternator so we don't blow the battery up i went around and Re removed and replaced all the grease certs so that I could get grease into them because some of them were old and I had to dig I you think it was leather when I dug it out but uh, there's I don't know 35 36 grease certs on this entire car that you got to service I've got caps for all these I just haven't gotten them on yet but this was my project for the week uh, we're not done uh, 1929 Model A door. Driving season's coming. This isn't a show car. Um, I'm keeping all the original parts I took off. The guy that built the car actually built it period correct. I'm going to drive it. I didn't buy it to look at it. And it's not really in pristine condition to not drive. Um, it may have been at one point, but it's not. And it hasn't been since I picked it up. So... I like my oil pan. Aged copper. With a clear coat on it. They're normally they're black and it was in lacquer. Uh we had to remove the oil pan. I don't know if I can get down there. See it. That is the drain plug and I could not get it to remove. Um they are soldered in. There's a bung with the threads on it. And they solder them in. Well, um, when the solder gets hot and lets loose, it just spins and spins and spins and you can't get it out. So I had to drop the oil pan with the oil in it. And then, you know, all new gaskets and everything. Eh, but I, uh, I'm a welder. I think I stated that before. I'm trying to keep this short. Where, what are we at? Eight minutes? Um, so I... <laughs> I TIG welded that bung on right through that silver solder. It won't spin on me no more. But th that's been my project. We're not done with it. Um, we got another club member's car. He's got a new engine. Um, actually, he sunk a lot of money into it. It's a hot rod engine. <laughs> I mean, you know, this thing here will run 45 miles an hour, maybe 50, but that's a lot of vibration that we don't want to put on. These don't have normal bearings in them. They got Babbitts. And they're poured in. We don't want to wear the Babbitts out. But he, I believe he put bearings in his engine. Had the machine worked on in that. So he's got a lot of money in the engine. But he had a back surgery. So a bunch of us from the club are going to go over there and uh, swap out his motors for him while he's down for the count. So that he's good to go for the driving season. I think our dust off. Our dust off is, uh, oops, sorry. Oh, my finger's in the way. Trying to, no, I don't want that. I want the, want ah, okay. Well, we'll just look at the car. Um, the dust off is in March, April, May, maybe. And pretty much it's when, you know, the first club meeting when we get a get together. And pretty much right there was the dust off. So you knock the dust off, take the car out. 
But anyways, uh, as soon as I figure out my camera issues, this thing, I think it just didn't have enough room on it anymore and it kept shutting off. I've got a GoPro and I got a card for it and it says card is full and when you look at the card it says nothing on the card so I don't know so I got a Nikon in the house big camera and I think I'm gonna bring that out here in a tripod and set it up so I can at least maybe you know fast forward through everything I'm doing instead of talking but those are my projects at the moment playing with the resins playing with the car um, only problem is, you know, the lake's hard right now, but as soon as the lake isn't hard, I really intend to be on it. Well, as soon as they put the dock in, but, you know, it's going to cut into my uh, wood shop time. But bad day of fishing is better than any day at work. All right, well, hopefully I get something together for you next week or something. Thanks for watching.